This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. The lesson I'm working on is changing variables with artist puzzle 4. Here's your code from the last puzzle. Correct. So if you don't have this, go back and do those parts. If you're stuck, watch my videos. Try editing the variable in other ways. What will happen if you start out with a length less than 150? Okay. Now, so less than 150. Remember, length, every time I say length down here, I am referring to this, to 150. So move forward 150. But then I change it, right? I change length to be equal to what length was, is equal to, so 150 at this time, plus 10. And now length means 160. And then when it goes back around and we get here again, we say, okay, now length equals what it was, 160 plus 10. So now it's 170 is the new length. And then 170 plus 10, 180 would be the new length. So what if we change it less than, I don't know. Okay, let's do 100. I think it will have more triangles. Let's try. Oh, and they're off-centered because, oh, interesting. So what if we do 50? <laughs> uh, what if you multiply the variable by 1.2 each time? Oh, okay. So multiply each time now. I'm going to take whatever length used to be equal to and multiply it by 1.25. So if I start at 100, length would then equal 125 when this runs, and then 125 times 1.25, so on and so forth. Let's try this way. Whoa, it gets really big really quick. What will your code do? Oh, well, then it's going to slowly turn. Okay, let's try that. I'm going to change this back to plus 10. I liked it like that. Now let's see. <laughs> That's really cool. So you can see how easy it is to change stuff with a variable, right? I change one number and everything changes. That's fun. I'm going to go back to the original. Watch out. Awesome. Let's um, keep going.